Three thirty PM Cameroon time, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the afternoon edition of Prime Flash coming to you live from the studios of my media Prime Television. You are in Cameroon's economic capital dweller. My name is Von Quint. I begin the news in the Lithuania region where the population of Bonandale a precinct in Bonaberry dweller for subdivision as in collecting oil with fingers and cups in very unhygienic conditions. The population filled their buckets with oil from an oil tank which exploded and spewed directly into a nearby swampy area. Talking with one of those who collected the oil, she says it will be used for cooking, why not for sales? Their action comes at a time the country is battling health challenges and such acts could lead to the spread of more diseases. To this sad story, a 36-year-old lady, uh, Etaka Marie Yolana, and her seven-month-old baby have been found dead in their home at the Komondo neighborhood, Lithuania region of Cameroon. Sources say their corpses were beside their corpses of the woman and her baby was a nine-year-old daughter who thought her mom and kid sister were asleep. Neighbors say Ithaka Marie was last seen on Friday, May 30, after quarreling with her boyfriend. Meanwhile, the nine-year-old girl is currently in hospital for medical checkup. Now the corpse of a man identified as Fu Rafael from Munduma village in the northwest region has been found this morning at Mengwi Road. His body is said to have been found in an advanced state of decomposition. It is believed he was killed and his motorcycle seized by his killers. Now Kamas returned to Fumbot Nun Division West region of Cameroon after roads leading to the Fumbot Court of First Instance were barricaded by security officers as the population burned down the structure following the death of a drug dealer detained at the Fumbot Principal Prison. According to the protesting youths, the drug dealer was refused access to treatment while in custody and finally died due to his state. The youth paraded the street of Fumbot but with the body yesterday morning mounted roadblocks that disrupted traffic, calm resumed after the sort contact with the angry youths. Now death has been announced of former member of parliament von Zian, Honorable Norbert Nangi Van Bile, paramount ruler of the Batangas and member of the Anti-Corruption Commission, CONAC. He died Monday, April 3, at the Yawunde Social Insurance Hospital following an illness. Out of the country, parents of dozens of students abducted from Forestry College in the northern city of Kaduna have been protesting outside the country's parliament in Nigeria. The 39 students were taken from their dormitories in March by gunmen who later released 10 of them. The protesting families say the authorities are not doing enough to rescue the victims. Protesters carried placards chanting slogans demanding authorities to do more to rescue the the remaining 29 students who have been held for nearly two months. Now, Tanzania's President Samia Sulu, who is in Kenya, to short is in Kenya at the start of a two-day state visit which analysts say is aimed at ending frustrated relations. She is expected to speak publicly alongside host President Uhuru Kenyatta at the State House in the capital Nairobi. The visit is seen as an effort to improve relations between the two East African countries fueled by economic competition which escalated under the administration of late Tanzanian President John Magafuli. Since President Samia took over office. She has shifted the approach to COVID-19 picking a task force to advise Tanzania's response to the pandemic. Now Uganda's parliament has passed a sweeping law on sexual offenses repelling some of the provisions in the decades-old criminal law. The new measures provide for the establishment of a national sexual offenders register and anyone convicted of a sexual offense will have their name enrolled in that book within 10 days of the court ruling. The law also stipulates at least seven years in prison for anyone who shares digital explicit content on the internet or social platforms. 
Now at least 36 people were killed by gunmen in eastern Burkina Faso as rebels burned down village, villagers' homes and shot them as they tried to escape. The attack occurred in Kojie village in the Kamanjari province on Monday near the border with Niger. Government officials in the region say rebel fighters surrounded the village and, and went house to house setting fire to them and killing people. The attack comes exactly one week after two Spanish journalists and an Irish conservationist were killed and a Burkina Bay soldier went missing when their anti purging patrol was ambushed by rebels in the same region. Now the Democratic Republic of Congo on Monday declared the end of an Ebola outbreak that infected 12 people in the eastern province of North Kivu and killed six of them. The outbreak was contained using Merck's Ebola vaccine, which was given more than 1,600 of the patient's contacts. The cases were genetically linked to the 2018 2020 Ebola epidemic that killed more than 22,000 people, the second highest toll recorded in the disease's history. Health Minister Jean Jacques Bungoni said in a statement, I am pleased to solemnly declare the end of the 12th epidemic of Ebola virus disease in North Kivu province. We've come to the end of the afternoon edition of Prime Flash Live on My Media Prime Television. The news was compiled and produced by Ewan and Nalinga Elamani, Ms. Von Quinta. Stay tuned to more programs on the African Eye. Goodbye.